CAP is all about preserving culture. So every project that we have has an element of preserving culture in it. We have several projects, let me tell you about them. The flagship project at CAP is the oral history project. Through the oral history project, we uh, interview people who have witnessed Pakistan in the making. I still can close my eyes and see it. Two of them, were, of course, used to call each other by their pet names. She used to call him Jin, and he used to call her Fatty for Fatma. That was the first time जो हमने लहराया वो जंदा girls you know ऊपर चढ़ के हम लोगों ने हमने ये किया as the youth of Pakistan. There were at least one million people following that party. और सब रोते और बावला करते जा रहे थे. People who were there to to witness it all, to see it, to experience it, the partition, the pre-partitions. Um, well, the Citizens Archive of Pakistan is very interested in working with Pakistanis from all sorts of different backgrounds. Uh, that's why our Lahore office has initiated uh, the Minority Project. Um, it's a branch of our oral history project and what it does is... Uh, we, go, uh, we go to the houses, we interview them, we have a very structured uh, questionnaire that we ask them. It collects their oral histories and experiences of partition. Um, we recently uh, photographed a Sikh festival that took place in Punjab. Uh, apart from that, uh, we have uh, the school outreach tour. Our organization is entirely about collecting and disseminating history a lot. So in the school outreach tour, we come to the dissemination part. The oral history project is the collection part. School outreach tour is disseminating that information. Uh, through school outreach tour, we basically uh, go into schools and we teach low-income uh, children about the history of Pakistan. We teach them about tolerance, uh, religious tolerance, about ethics, about civic duty. Uh, that is what is taught in the school outreach program. Our ultimate goal is to make all our archives and all our historical resources accessible to the public. So we're in the process of digitizing them right now. Um, once we've digitized all our photographs, our um, documents and uh, oral history clips that we have, we're going to be uh, hopefully creating a living history museum where any Pakistani will be able to access the digital archives. We also like to put uh, material on our website whenever we can. We're actually working on making our website as interactive as possible. Uh, we have uh, a biennial uh, festival called Shanakht, which is a collection of uh, culture and drama from all around Pakistan. So there are uh, paintings that are exhibited there, there are little theatre groups that come there to play skits about you know Pakistan and history. So it's basically about art and culture, the Shanakht festival. We're also in talks with international organizations right now. Um, about creating a complete map of uh, Karachi's old buildings and historical sites. So we're hoping that one day, you know, we're going to be able to put that on Google Map. Uh, we have uh, one of projects like uh, we just did the Birth of Pakistan exhibit, which was held at Mohatta Palace. Over there, it was an interactive exhibit for uh, children to learn about their nation's history. So children went through a whole experience so um, I also wanted to show you a copy of the passports that were given out at the Birth of Pakistan exhibit. These are like the first passports of Pakistan, the, the new nation, the 1947 passports. This is what they looked like. We gave a sample of this to the kids. Yellow.com, which actually um, maps and provides information about old areas all over Pakistan. And uh, what GAP is doing is working with them on an application for the Android phone, where they will provide the technology for somebody who has one of these phones, if they're walking through a historical area, they can access Citizens Archive's information about that area and get the historical information that they um, Well, we're always looking to work with artists from all walks of life, um, whether they're photographers or um, musicians. We haven't worked with uh, specific dancers yet, but uh, we're open to collaborating with all sorts of artists. Um, animations that we have created, like there is Hero Hathi, there is Coco the Camel, there is, um, uh, uh, if you are aware that Chakor is the national bird of Pakistan, so there are two Chakors, one is a Nana and one is a little kid and he tells her stories. Nanu was Enuko, he tells them stories about Pakistan and about history and geography. So um, children have connected with these characters and um, these are the characters that are used uh, in the kids' corner as well. 
so they are welcoming the kids that you remember us we are the ones who taught you uh, history so now come to us and we are going to show you quizzes and games and 3d puzzles and uh, everything's online everything's online so we actually um, Sherry Rahman a member of parliament was um, our guest speaker at the launch for exchange for change um, Pir Mazhar al Haq has also lent us his support in our educational development. Um, we're working with um, Anita Gulamali from the Sindh Education Foundation to uh, help incorporate our history curriculum into schools in interior Sindh. So, uh, yes, members from the government have been very supportive. I am a teacher and I am a doctor. My dear friend, I am a doctor. 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 दादा जान ने मुझे बताया कि वो मलियाबाद में पैदा हुए और बचपन में खूब सारे मजे मजे के आम खाया करते थे क्या तुम्हें भी आम पसंद है आगरा फोर्ट ताजमहल मसाला डोसा कश्ती वाला झूला मुझे कैंटीन के समोसे बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं जानन चिप के उससे सुमरा कुल्ले दुनिया गई था जानन 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 हमारे